You're always watching that anime, not spending time with me. I thought you loved me. It's like you love anime more than me. Oh, babe, come on. You know I can't pick out of you, you anime. That's, I really can't. No, you got to pick. It's either anime or me. I will do anything for love. What's happening? Yes, I will do anything for love. Uh, well. But I won't do that. I will do anything for love. Hello everyone, my name is Cancer Games and welcome back to some more weird news. I hope everyone's having a lovely day. It's getting warmer again. <laughs> Today is all about love and engagements and, well, basic things that you know you would have thought they would know about before you get engaged to someone. Like their name, their age, where they live, who they are. Basically the main information that you need to actually get to know someone. Yeah, that all goes out the window in this one. So I really hope you enjoy it and you can leave a like on this video and comment with your thoughts and subscribe if you're new. Anyways, let's get into this weird news. Get, woman gets engaged to man who lives 6,000 miles away and lied about his age. Well that's a red flag isn't it right there? Jesus. A woman has become engaged to a man who lives on the other side of the world. To her who intentionally failed to mention he already been married and lied about his age. Yeah well that's really bad actually that is yeah that is that's like um that's like blind date but even on a blind date you get to know the person don't you oh uh, i can imagine is that qu quote from frozen you can't marry a man you just met you can if it's true love anna what do you know about true love all right let's see let's see what they have to say victoria 31 reckoned that sean a man she met online who lives in japan is the one for her but her mate for reasons that you might already have figured out isn't necessarily so sure. Victoria lives in Walford Ham Hampton, but bonded with Sean over the interests such as Pokemon Go. Why does this sound like a childhood love? Childhood love, you know, like when you meet a, like, meet like a girl, if you're like me, I met like a female friend when I was little who loved Pokemon as well and I was just like yes oh my god because it's like oh my god a girl likes Pokemon why does it think like that it's it's like when you first meet someone you instantly fall in love it's like no don't do that you're an idiot you're gonna get hurt but everyone's done it in life you can't deny that everyone has done that in their life so but still why are you going on there why are you going on social media about this <laughs> he probably wants a green card <laughs> I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> However, after learning that Sean had lied about his age and didn't tell her that he'd already been married, her fr friend Rosie started to have misgivings. Victoria explained, I love Japan and Japanese culture. I generally don't know how it started. It just crept up on me and there it was. <laughs> Isn't that what Japan does? <laughs> Sorry. That's probably what he's done, ain't it? <laughs> He's just crept up in your own gun. Ha ha! <laughs> there is no Japanese scenes in Wolfen Wolfenton. Well, yeah, of course there isn't, because it isn't Japan. It's a bit of a boring place, she says. I haven't visited Japan twice with my friends. Libby, it, with Libby, it's perfect. Sean is my boyfriend. We met online. He is from Japan. Okay, so that's like a tick. He's from Japan. So, alright, okay. And he likes my gone ghost. That's two ticks. Alright, okay, okay. I'm with you still. I'm with you. There's a certain type of Japanese man that I'm quite attracted to. I quite like the way they dress. I'm just imagining all the ones that dress like females. <laughs> yeah. Or <laughs> the ugly bastard one, like from an from an anime or end. <laughs> oh God. Sean's profile picture was a very suvey looking guy. Sunglasses on, sort of looking into the distance, basically because he has no fucking idea where he is. Cute, uh, but quite. he looked quite cute and young. Here comes the first red flag. Victoria continued. Then I found out it was quite an old picture. He said he took it in 20, 2018. Well, at least he's honest. He's, he said when he took it. So he's not saying, yeah, that's me now. Yeah. Whatever. I thought Sean was a similar age to me. 31, 32. Turns out he's actually 42. 10 years older. Still not a problem. You're an adult. It's alright. But that is a red flag. There's like two red flags there, because he's lying already. 
Sean didn't lie to me. <laughs> really? Sean didn't lie to you? Love. Are you in denial? Uh, he just wouldn't tell me his age. No, that is basically the same as lying. Like, you're just in denial. That does seem strange. <laughs> Victoria added, I did find out one extra thing a while ago. That he used to be married. There's another red flag. He's not married in Japan. That's all he will say. I am divorced in Japan. I, I know that his ex-wife is from another country. So... Has he done this before? Has he like married somewhere in the other country to try and get something and failed so he's trying again? The pair met two years ago, getting more involved with each other quickly. Sean is definitely a man of mystery. He's open but he just keep, gives you enough information to be interested but he won't actually tell you the full story. Victoria continued. You are so in denial, love. I'm sorry but you are. What the... F Jesus Christ. There's something in my eye. It was just an odd message every other day. Now it's more like two, four hours a day. Fucking hell, I'll be pissed off. Like, leave me fucking alone. Sean is so important to me now. He's in an he's he's that extra voice in my pocket. Don't you mean the extra voice in your head? <laughs> you sure it isn't actually just your Pokemon Go still? You know, I didn't. I don't even believe. I can't believe that's still going. To be honest. As for Rosie, she said I might have been reading and watching a bit too much real crime. No problem in that. Just being cautious. You're being cautious for your friend. It's understandable. And, uh, just don't be an arsehole and say I told you so. Because that's my job. <laughs> uh, but you do always need to be careful. Yes. She believes that Sean might be after a passport. Although obviously we can't say one way or another. Oh definitely. He's definitely after a passport. He wants to get out of there. Rosie continued. I'll be a friend who's looking out for her. And making sure she's okay. And I won't say I told you so. If it's all turns 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 sour, because it can happen to anyone. That's very true. If you want to find out uh, more, you can actually go watch it on but Disney, uh, Discovery Plus, Ninety Days Fiance UK. Basically, it's like all them other ones, you know, ones that you just sit there and go, why are people doing this? Why are you showing your embarrassments online? There must be something else. Like maybe they do know each other, maybe in a way, and have made up a scheme to get rich or famous. Or, this is even better for him, he's, he just wanted a passport, but now he's getting famous as well. <laughs> for being a creepy stalker who lies and is very, very cautious about his, what he gives out. It's very strange and worrying. But, yeah, the only interest they have is Pokemon Go. Uh, any other interests? Like, do you know each other's food? Or what food you love? What's his favourite colour? Uh, have you met the family? Do you know that he has a family, maybe, still? You know? Who was this ex-wife? You know, there are it, there's basic information you do need to know before you can actually like fall in love with someone. Like you need to know their name, duh. Uh, you need to know like what their likes are and what their dislikes are. You know, it's, other, uh, it's normal information that people do naturally. If someone's avoiding that, like avoiding telling you stuff about them, that's really really concerning and big big red flags and that's sort of like when you just walk away and don't don't dip your toe in it you you know what i mean but fair to them i hope they uh, hey if it is real good on them i hope they have a lovely life and all that doing their pokemon go together but if it all goes wrong you've only got yourself to blame that lady and he's an absolute sleaze bag if he if it is if it does go wrong and I'm surprised that your friends still be there with you. <laughs> but best of all luck to you guys if it's real. And to you guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. I'll see you tomorrow for some stray. Ciao.